just like one quick shop etiquette thing I'm, I'm big on. Um, garbage on the ground, like even the smallest thing. If I see something, I pick it up immediately, put it in my pocket, throw it out. Like if you go walk around any of my yards, there is no little garbage anywhere. Um, and I know some people like they think stuff like this is invisible and yeah, it kind of is, but it's not at the same time. I just think it looks so gross when you look at the ground and everywhere you see is just stuff like that. So. see these guys I mean it's not just a shell he's in there look at that but they're around these are like water animals All right, let's put that somewhere safe So the plan is to move, let me clean out this corner. There's like, like recycling and firewood and probably some garbage. Don't need any of that. I'm not doing any more firewood stuff. I had this wood stove. I had that little wood stove hooked up for a while there, but it wasn't, you'd spend a ton of time dealing with it and maybe you'd get this corner a little bit warmer. All you did was mess with the fire. I'm not even gonna bother heating this building. So let's get this wood out of here i'll use it for the hot tub you're a little following dog hody follows you everywhere he is a following dog 100 percent. 100 percent. you never met i like that you're never missing you always know right where he is Frankly, this stuff at the dump they're calling that paper if it's not corrugated for recycling 
trash. Corrugated. There's a fox. There's a fox that hangs out here sometimes. He was looking at me. Wait, I got this brightest light. All right, let's find this fox. Cody, there's a fox for you to play with. Where's our fox? I thought it was Cody. It was the same color as Cody. Oh, he bailed. I thought it was you. I thought it was you. But I think it was that fox. Well, we saw a fox today and a groundhog. Any sweeping with this guy, it's kind of hard, because he likes brooms. You like brooms, don't you, Cody? load on that trailer. Let's see if I can make it up this hill. Really, I was spinning the whole time.
Okay, so this is where I had been storing my gas cans. And, you know, I'm usually doing metal work and stuff in here. I've never had a problem with a gas can and shooting sparks at it, but... I should have filmed this, but I had a couple of these nozzles. These are the nice ones that were broken. This part was broken. And with this kit for these nozzles, that it comes with two of these for some reason, if you heat these up with a torch, you can jam it over this and fix these. Plus it comes with these vents, so you drill a half inch hole and then you get a gas can that actually works. So I feel a lot better about having all the gas cans in that instead, because that's what it's meant for. And, um, Plus, they're now away from the work area. So, like, I'm doing welding or something right there. That's pretty far away from it. So, right, Cody? Right. Look how big you got in this video. Because I was editing it last night. And you're bigger. We should go see Levi. We do a little landscaping up here. So, here's my. Uh garden by my decorative bridge entrance and got some stuff it's looking pretty good this spot but check out these bulbs these are uh, called canna lilies and they grow these giant le like they're like this that's fake Let's see if i can get a few of these in the ground here Up. I guess it doesn't matter. By the end of the year, those should be looking nice. Save this video to then. All right, here's those bulbs a couple months later. So that was one of them right there, one of the canna lilies. And here are those other two. And I also added some other stuff. This had a really nice big pink flower for a while. Added that, it's doing well, that thing. And I really like this. I'm gonna get some more of these, that's doing well too. What is that? Look at this one up here. Oh, there's a pink flower. That's nice. That's something. Hey, Cody. All right. Well, this is just kind of like a B-roll video. So, um, that I filmed over a couple. I mean, I got that gas can cabin's been there a couple months, but I like it. Hey, check out what I'm working on here. So this is the current progress on this. I've um, been working on it like full, full time. And yeah, making price. So I got a big sliding door going there. Ordered a sliding window for here. Matching window on that side. Still undecided on what I'm doing over these windows. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards right now doing another window right there. Same width as this one. Another window directly over the door, which will be the same width as that, five feet. The door is six feet wide. And same thing there. And then same thing above it. Windows with the top at that angle. And I even have an extra piece of glass here. This was wrong for the upstairs triangle window, but um, that, I mean, the angle's different on that anyway, so. 
And, all right, so then I got uh, double hungs for this. It's two different sizes here because of the layout of, of these guys, but. No regular door right there. This is all just solid wall here because it had all these beams or columns. So that's going along. It's going well. You know, it's just a lot of welding. And I'm making a video. I'm just kind of like the way I'm filming this is just every time one of these sheets goes up, I, I get a shot of it. I'm not really bothering with the angle iron. Um, 